Narthamalai. Previously, it had been called as Narathermalai, since, here in this place, the great celestial sage Narathar had stayed and had done penance. This hill has been in the shape of the Pranav Mantra, Um, as it has been surrounded by the cluster of hills, namely, Mela Malay, Kotan Malay, Pariyur Malay, Dumber Malay, Uvakan Malay, Alyuruti Malay, Pumadi Malay, Mun Malay, and Pon Malay. All these above said cluster of hills have been believed to be the bits of Sanjeevi Mount that had fallen down when Lord Hanuman had carried the Sanjeevi Mount from the North India in order to make alive the deads in the war between Lord Rama and the demon king Ravana. So, all these hills have been believed to be filled with full of life-saving herbs. Goddess Mithu Moriamun, here in this temple is believed to have been unearthed from a paddy field, in the place called as Kiel Kirchi, four miles far from the North Amlai. This idol had been brought here, by a temple priest, and he had built a small shrine. Later on, a royal woman, named as Malayamal, belonged to the Zaman of Thruvanwamalai, had extended this small temple, as a big one with her own funds, and had celebrated the festivals, which are continued till now. This has been the most featured temple for those who are seeking the child boon. Again, people who have been seriously affected with smallpox could have got full relief from its clutches. The aforesaid two reasons, supposed to draw huge numbers of devotees, say roughly five lakhs of people, on the grand festival, which has been celebrated on the Tamil month of Hungani. One of the noted feature here in this temple has been that, at the northern part of the Wall of Goddess Shrine, there lies the sculpted yantra, that is, the sacred words and signs related to Lord Murga, which has been considered as the most powerful and a blessing to the devotees. <laughs> 